so I haven't made a video in almost a month. Um, sorry about that. I haven't been doing much. But today is interesting. I'm going to ride to Reading, but instead of taking 5 and making it only 160 miles, I'm going to be taking 101 up to Highway 36, which is going to extend my trip from 160 miles in 2 hours to 412 miles in 7 hours. So, I've got the tank bags, well, not tank bags, but the saddlebag things. I've got a backpack that I'm wearing, and uh, got all my stuff in there. So, it'll be a good weekend. I'm going to be there, today is Saturday, so I'm going to be there Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and then ride home Wednesday, the quick way. So anyway, yeah, see you later. So I'm here at my first, uh, what's it called, my first checkpoint in Healdsburg. I've gone 70 miles, uh, 330 left to go. Yep. Stopped here, got something to drink. Um, got some snacks for later on. Just resting my knees. Cause there, I had to take the pads out of these new pants. So the pads were uncomfortable, but uh, the pads are out, it's way more comfortable than it was, and um, uh, I'm about ready to go again, I'll continue on down the road, so I'll see you later. Here's the view of where I am. Nice little magnolia trees at the gas station. Yep. About 118 miles, uh, stopped for fuel, and I realized, well actually I realized only about five miles after I left the other place, but um, I kind of messed up what I did. Uh, my backpack, actually it wasn't here, I had it on this hook, I had my backpack hanging there at the next, at the last rest stop, you know, but then when I left, I just got on and left. And about five miles down the road, I was like, Where's my backpack. So I look back there like that, and I see it. And it's swinging back like this, holding on just by that very edge. So I pulled over, took my backpack off, and uh, put it back on. But because it was back there, it was rubbing against the wheel. So you can see the wheel is a little bit smooth on one edge, it's kind of, because uh, it was rubbing. And there's also quite a bit of damage to the backpack. Like, everywhere. Not this side, but this side. It's all ripped up, and down there it's all, all ripped up. Because it was rubbing against the tire. For about five miles, but. I realized I was doing that, and I, uh, I put it back on, and it looks fine. Whoops. But anyway, I'm going to continue wherever my GPS tells me to stop next, and then I'll record another segment.
not sure exactly what town this is, but uh, right alongside Highway 101, gone 162 miles, almost halfway, and I'm starting to uh, collect quite a few bugs. But uh, anyway, I'm still feeling good, and I'm just going to continue down 101. So I'll see you later.
so as you can tell, it is now nighttime. The sun, the great bright day circle, has gone behind the mountains. I have no cell phone service way out here. Um, but you, if you're watching this, have internet because this is internet video. That's how it works. Um, you can go to Google and search for Hayfork, California. Uh, that's where I am. I'm at the Hayfork Garage. As you can see, Hayfork Garage. It's about 7 o'clock. It gets dark early this time of year. And, um,. Yeah, I'm running low on fuel a little bit. I've, I've uh, filled up right before I got on 36. And actually, I got off 36 and got on to 3 because it's shorter. Um, but yeah, I filled up right before I left. And I'm running low. And the next fuel is in... 43 miles. Which is about a gallon. And I'm probably got maybe one and a half left so I should be able to make it there hopefully there is one problem though it is dark as you can see and my helmet has a tinted visor so normally it would be looking like this it looks like that for me and riding with it up is too cold because it's cold and my hands are cold. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna just warm up my hands on my engine right now. Ah, nice. Very nice. That's hot. Okay, that's hot. Anyway, um, that's what I'm doing, so I need to leave before it gets too much colder and darker. So. Bye. He's still at work, so I went over to his parents' house uh, to wait for him to get off work, and he said that they might have some dinner for me, but I wasn't expecting this. Look at what they got me. Baked potato with garlic bread, or not garlic bread, but uh, sourdough french bread, apple pie, and filet mignon. It's so good. They have good food.